Freedom, today I want to talk to you about hashtags for possibly the last time for a while. This one is on content hashtags. What are they and why do you need them? That and more in this episode. Content hashtags are hashtags that you place in your posts or your social media pushes that aren't necessarily branded hashtags and they aren't necessarily designed uh, to get any brand awareness. They're more about the content, which is why we call them content hashtags. This could be a very general hashtag, such as hashtag Minecraft, hashtag Call of Duty, and so on and so forth. A lot of times your content hashtags are used to improve your discoverability and possibly even SEO. Some examples of content hashtags could be such things as product hashtags. They could also be lifestyle hashtags. They could be event or location based hashtags such as hashtag Super Bowl or hashtag Manila or hashtag Philippines. A product hashtag isn't necessarily a brand name. A product hashtag could be, for instance, hashtag latte. In fact, on screen now you should see an example of what you get when you look at hashtag latte on Instagram. If you were a local coffee shop owner, posting your very pretty latte pictures would probably be a really good idea. If you're a vlogging or gaming YouTuber, I'm sure that it won't take you long at all to think of a couple of examples of how that you can transfer this over to what you do. Lifestyle hashtags are usually things that have to do with hobbies, interests, or just lifestyle choices, such as hashtag fishing or possibly bowling. Some people may even use lifestyle such as LGBT in their tags to let people know that they're friendly to that community. The important part is that you're appealing to a community that likes whatever it is you do. So for instance, on screen, you will see an example of someone using hashtags to promote their bait and tackle business, which I think is pretty inventive. They show up here fairly often because they use those tags fairly often. Event hashtags aren't just for huge events like the Super Bowl. Event hashtags can be for a local fair or maybe an auto show. The thing that really matters is that other people are also looking for this event. It could be even something as silly or small as lunch or lunchtime. When using event hashtags, you just really want to look at how identifiable it is to other people and how likely they are to understand and to want to check out that hashtag. If you're a locally based channel, say you're a channel that just deals with um, eating establishments in the Dallas, Texas area, most likely you're going to want to use very localized hashtags like that hashtag and the name of the city or hashtag the name of the county, state, so on and so forth. This is going to help you rank and help you be found by an audience who is interested in eating establishments in your particular area. Tips for using these kind of hashtags. First of all, the more common, the better. And that's because you want people to discover this and you want people to discover this organically. You also want to increase your search rank or your discoverability rank using these hashtags. Engage with people using these hashtags. That's probably the most important thing. You need to let them know that you're interested in this and that you're providing a service in some way, shape, or form, even if it's just digital video, just there to entertain them or inform them. Being a part of the community is really the best thing that you can do. And um, don't spam your posts with a lot of common hashtags. It really does get annoying and it turns people away from your content. Because, let's face it, we all know that one girl on Instagram who tries a little bit too hard with the hashtags. You don't want to be her. In the last couple of videos, we've described a few different types of hashtags, how to use them and where to find them. I'd just like to recap really quickly. The best uses for hashtags are to brand your business and marketing campaigns. This is really kind of important, especially if it's going to be a long running campaign or one that you expect a lot of interaction on. This particular type of campaign requires that you lead your audience. If you have a smaller audience, you might not be able to lead them just yet. Catching real time trending topics is vitally important if you're looking to gain a windfall of traffic from your posts. A lot of times this is going to be the equivalent on YouTube to finding a really good tentpole programming topic. 
Last but not least, remember the goal here is to expand your reach beyond what it currently is. So anything you do with hashtags, make sure that this is your primary goal. Oh, and of course, to interact with your audience. That's always kind of in the back of my mind, even if I don't say it. I hope that this video has been helpful for you. If it has, let us know in the comment section below. If you have any ideas or suggestions for topics in the future, let us know. I am very open to suggestions as this particular topic was in fact a request. Till next time, I'm Anthony. Like, subscribe, comments please.